you can change the random fill or any of the other fills as well in the edit menu and fill and patterns. Maybe have it like at an angle. So what I'm doing here, go to edit and fill and I go to pattern and then I've got the custom pattern. I've just selected a pattern that's just straight up. So you can see now it's angled there in the end result. And we've got script. Now you've got random fill. Well, I've got a random fill one, which is just rotates the pattern. So click OK. And what happens? Well, you can see there you've got density, you've got all those and you've got rotation and you can just change the rotation. So if you decide, you know what, I want it a different angle, you can quickly do it just by adding a rotation field and then clicking OK. And you can see the design heads off in that direction, which is quite useful, say, if you want to combine it with different sort of blending modes, etc. However, how to do that? Well, the first step is to go to the presets folder. You've got Adobe Photoshop 2021 or 2020, whatever, doesn't matter particularly. And then go down to presets beneath that and deco or deco, however you want to say. Art deco would suggest deco. And I've just duplicated random fill. And that's the key thing. Make certain you duplicate it. You do not want, unless you want to lose your fill command, just copy it. Just copy it. Maybe even better probably would be to create a copy of the entire folder. Just back it up to make certain you don't. However, once you've done that, what you can do, you can just edit it like a normal file. So just go here. Now I'm using a Mac. You can do PC, Notepad, all of them can edit these files. Just a standard text file. And inside here, you notice a lot of code. Now, it's not immensely complicated code. And I'm going to slightly format it so you can just see. Let's just go for bigger. So you can just see it a bit better on the screen because otherwise you won't be able to do that. So font and bigger. So that's just makes it a bit easier. So let's just quickly go through. Now, the key thing here, and I found, is you can set up model parameters. You'll notice here you've got density, you've got distance, you've got the variation color. They're all, thing. I've got one here set called rotation. Now there was a ply rotation. Ply rotation was the randomization feature. Well, now I've just called it rotation and it's then colon and then zero. So you just follow the same approach for these ones. Pattern scale from colon 0.5, pattern scale to colon one. That's the default value, zero. That's what the value was anyway. So once you've done that, what you need to do now is go through this. And I'm just going to quickly go through and hopefully I won't miss anything, but just going through it. But most of this you do not have to touch in any way. So you can go through pattern size. You've got all the pattern size stuff. Size, push, ignore all that sort of stuff. Got maximum pattern size and so on. So on. You can see a lot of code there. A lot of code you can just completely, utterly ignore. However, what you need to do is right down here. When you get down to here, you'll notice app.scale, api.scale. Just beneath it, there's an if statement for the rotation. So if, if it says if blah, 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 then rotate, do a randomization. Just remove that bit of code. Just delete it and just put this instead. API.rotate and then I've got local rotation. Now you'll notice just above, I've just created. Now this, you don't have to, you could just use the parameters just as easy. That's what you need. Parameters dot rotation. I called it dot rotation right to the top. So dot right at the top, it's called rotation. I've called it here parameters dot rotation. So that's where you access that field, that rotation field. You can see above the scale here is the scale parameters pattern scale from. That's the like 0.1, etc. So that's a parameter as well. So you've got that. Now you've also got these other parameters, color randomness as well, and brightness. So simply just create local rotation or parameters dot rotation. You can select that. That's a key thing. So you get the value. However, doesn't finish there. What you need to do is go further down. Weirdly, it's a little bit more code. If you go a bit further down, there's another one here. This, you've got preview, you've got the actual result. Well, here's so another place where you've got exactly the same thing, where you've got if apply rotation, 
etc. It's just a test to make it randomize the rotation, remove that. And again, var local rotation equals, again, that parameter dot rotation. That's the key thing. And then API dot rotate, and then just put that local rotor. Again, you could just put parameters dot rotation if you wanted to. But if you want to use that, that field there, you might, and also you might want to alter it, change it in different ways. It's nice to have a field called local rotation. So that's the reason why I've just gone for a, just to create a variable with local rotation. So you can see now we've got the rotation, we've got the scale, we've got everything now that's, however, the key thing, weirdly, is right at the bottom. It's right at the bottom of this, the menu. You have to create the menu, the menu being the actual panel. Weird it's called menu, menu, create a menu. Well, that's what it is. And what you can up, and you've got one down there and you will have apply rotation. Well, you can delete that line. Just delete that line that's got the apply rotation, just remove it. But what you need to do is add in a new one. And the rotation field is this one. So just go down here and you can see now, what I've done, I've just copied the top one. So you just go up to the density one, the one up here, and just paste it in here. Just put it down somewhere. It doesn't have to be, it could be anywhere. So you just place it there or below or above, and it will appear that position. So what you can do, just simply go to, and it's got random field. That's the name of the script. And rotation equals rotation. I know that sounds weird, but that's the way they do it. Again, you can see exactly the same above. Pattern scale from equals minimum Ah, you've got the name, you could call it something else. But I'm just calling it rotation. It could be rotation angle, just as reasonable. It, that's what it is, it's just the name. So density up here, density equals density. They could have called it something else. So rotation equals rotation. Now, item unit, and I've got a space there, or nothing, actually nothing there, just and the reason I went for that, because you notice up here, if you selected the first one, you would have ended up with the unit being pixels. Well, I don't want that. It's obviously not pixels. So don't want any units. So I then went to this one. And you can see this one has got item unit, and it's just, just nothing. So two quotes there, and just simply stick that there. Now, the next line, item type. So you've got slider. I want a slider. That's what the slider is. You've got item value. And then model parameters dot rotation. All these have got model parameters dot max distance. This one I put dot rotation. That's what it's called. It's dot rotation. That's the parameter name. Item min equals zero. Item max equals 360. Because you want to set up a range of zero to 360. Item step. Now you can make it like 10 or 45. Up to you. But I've gone for one. Just like one degree, two degrees, three degrees, etc. And var name equals then rotation. Again, that's the name. Key thing to remember is sometimes it requires an uppercase. There seems to be uppercase. Might not require it, but however, that's what I've gone for because all the others have got it. And in these ones, I've just gone for rotation in lowercase. That's the name of the thing. You could, of course, used it, called it anything you want. So that's it. So you've got your thing, and I'm using exactly the same there, and it's got no change at all to anything else. Now, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Just a function that, you know, it's just maybe an error message will pop up. I've had quite a few while just doing this, so uh, I would recommend that uh, when you do it, you probably won't get it right straight away. But this is just quickly go through this script, and you just, again, key thing, just go through these, set up your parameter, your initial name, which is rotation, colon zero, key thing, and then go and put where you've got apply rotation, just remove that, all that bit, and put the word, obviously, for rotation there. API dots rotate, that's the function to rotate it. Just rotates using that value. It could be 45, 36, 27, etc. And likewise, do exactly the same here as well. API dot rotate, and local rotation again, which again, 45, 56, whatever. And you could, if you want, simply just to try it out, just simply put in, just, you know, as a test, just put 56, and it will do that. It will rotate it by just 56 degrees. 
but then you can set up all this so you can then create the menu and when you run it say close that got it there go to back to the document and again edit and fill custom pattern select pattern make sense you go for random fill one script on that's the key thing and click OK and you can see the design there and that's all angled and then you can rotate it now of course that's just for rotation but maybe you think of some more maybe go for um, maybe shifting them all a certain degree maybe have a an if statement in there just to say sometimes do this sometimes do that maybe a whole heap of different things now you might even be able to tweak some of the scale factors I don't know I haven't pushed it because of course it goes up to three and it's possible you could try and tweak it I'm not certain if it would work well the preview might not work well it doesn't work well anyway so uh, so click there and you can see what happens it's obviously massive but that's it just how you can quickly edit the pattern file and then create your own unique script and of course again tweak it in other ways hope you found this of interest any questions please put in the comments below always great to hear from you also a like or dislike also please put some comments did this work for you did you vote and again before i go please 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 make a backup of the random fill if you use it and you edit that one if you edit that file you will then end up probably not having that random fill feature unless you reinstall Photoshop so you make a backup make a copy make certain you've got two or three copies just to make certain you've got it because it could be lost otherwise anyway thank you much